Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm Kelsey Mayorki Celine. We like fashion and we love handbags. If you do too, definitely hit subscribe and let's jump into this video. Okay, so this is part two of a full Louis Vuitton Never Full review video that I have done. So part one by now is already posted. So if you're looking at this, you want to see part one, definitely check that out. Part one has my full, like, honest review of my experience with these bags and pros and cons and my recommendations. So if you want to see that, check that video out. I'll leave it in the description for you all. And if you are here to see what fits, that's what we're going to be talking about in part two, this video. So stick around for that. So very quickly, as mentioned before, I have four Neverfulls sitting here. That's how much I love those bags. Um, there are drawbacks, but I definitely overall love having and using these bags. Um, so really quickly, if you are anywhere new to the Neverfull world, all of these are in the MM size. This is the classic monogram canvas. This is the Damier Azur, the Damier Ben, and then this is the Black Emprunt here. So because they're all the same size, I'm going to pick one that we can fill today. And because it goes with my outfit, I'm going to pick the Damier Azur. We're also going to bring Celine in as a special guest because I love including her on these What Fits My Bag because she is certainly a purse size dog so if you want to see her definitely stick around she'll be here in a little bit but I'm going to put away my other three and then we can talk about what fits in this but one. It's a very versatile bag you can use this for school for work for new moms moms in general dog moms anything you can certainly use this bag for casual wear formal wear I'm going to fill this because I definitely use my Damier a Ben bag and the Damiers are a lot for work and the Damier a Ben I used a lot for school as well. So this first part is going to be more for like geared towards school slash work, what you can fit in here. So I also mentioned in the first part of the review how you can make it your own starting with little accessories like bag charms so i just have a charm on here it's a lottery macron and little eiffel tower charm super super cute and it's got a little pink bow and because i wear this bag in the spring and summertime the colors fit well so i'm gonna start with this bag and then i also have an organizer that i'm going to fill up as well Let's fill this first and then we can put everything into the bag. So we're going to start with this little toiletry pouch. You can put makeup in, personal items or any items that you don't really want loose in either the organizer or the bag. Next, I have a pair of glasses. I wear contacts, but I have glasses just in case. I've mentioned this before. This is my Louis Vuitton Victoria wallet with the classic monogram exterior, rose ballerine interior. I have some whey hand lotion and this is in the Rue Saint Honoré scent. It smells so good. A Touchland hand sanitizer. Is this needed? Like no, this is pretty overpriced hand sanitizer in my opinion. However, the size of it just works so well. Whether you have a compact bag or a larger bag, it just fits everywhere nicely if you get my drift. So I always end up overpaying for these things because they just fit nicely in my bag. So a lippy I have here. Today we just have the La Neige Lip Glow Balm in the berry scent. My contact lens case, because I'm wearing them right now. A little mini travel lint brush compact nail like travel nail kit a mini hairbrush my aloe clip i love aloe's hair clips and i managed they're sold out online i managed to find them in the store which by the way 
I don't know if it's still going to be on by the time this video goes up, but the Alloversary sale is active right now. So check that out if you are an aloe girly like myself. So then I have my Lululemon Duo wristlet. I'm obsessed with this thing, especially because I'm wearing Lululemon head to toe right now, but it matches so perfectly with the bone. And um, so in each of these, I just have cards and like loose keys in here. And like my ID and then in here I believe my lip gloss yeah my lip balm was in here my Laneige was in here a hair tie and my eye drops I went out today ran a bunch of errands and this thing was perfect for that but then when you are ready to take a full bag all you gotta do is throw it right in here so this thing is pretty full and then of course I have some pens I'm going to work slash school so i'm going to throw this in the bag and this is specifically made for the mm size you can find bag organizers anywhere and then i just have a little notebook or a standard notebook for notes obviously meetings things like that and then i have a laptop here yes it's an older laptop this is a 2012 or 2013 macbook and i believe this is the 13 inch so this fits perfectly into this bag now is this bag going to be heavy? Yes, but can you take it with you to class or to a coffee shop to go work or to a meeting somewhere else with your laptop? Yes, absolutely. So again, talked about this in the first part. It may be heavy on your arm, but it is definitely big enough to fit everything in there. So I am doing the school slash work version of this. I'm going to do a mom, specifically dog mom version because I don't have human kids. So I'm going to do the dog mom version next. If you would like to see that in Celine, definitely keep watching. All right, so we're back with Miss Celine. I am constantly waking her up from naps. So if she looks slightly deranged, it's because she was sleeping. She's always sleeping. That's her favorite thing to do. So, <laughs> so... I am bringing Celine in because for usual I like to kind of showcase that if you do have a tiny purse sized dog and you need to stick them in your bag for whatever reason you can fit her in this bag or him if you have a boy but you can definitely fit at least two of Celine comfortably in this bag. I have pictures of her posted on her Instagram. I can include them in the video here here she is kind of chilling in the bag she's not uncomfortable she's probably a little annoyed with me right now <laughs> but she's not uncomfortable she's literally about to fall asleep again but like i said if you had two dogs her size with the sizing of this bag they could both comfortably fit in here sometimes dogs who are really small like celine tend to get cold more easily or they get more nervous in like larger settings and so if you've got a big empty bag kind of like this you don't necessarily have to like put them in there and then close them up they need to be able to breathe but she could certainly sit in here you can carry them you know with the bag kind of like this so it's open but at least it's you know keeping them comfortable and safe almost like a sling so again i wouldn't purchase this bag just to do that but it is a possibility if you're in a situation like that so you can fit little celine in here but we're also going to go into what dog mom items i would put in a bag like this whether we're traveling far or we're just going out for the day because as small as Selene is, she has a lot of needs. So let's get into packing this bag up. I'm going to sit her down so that she can take a nap. Okay. Come here. I have a table full of items 
Yes, they're all for Celine with the exception of one or two of them. Typically, if I have to take Celine out and I'm putting things in the bag for her, I usually don't use the organizer because it's almost in the way because some of the items are a little oversized. So Celine and I are typically matching, but we're kind of matching today, but she's wearing a little bit of a darker brown. But I say that because I wanted her to match with her St. Argo walking set. Yes, this is a serious thing. This is a dilemma that I go through when I take her out. But anywho, she's wearing a little bit darker because she's got a leash, harness, and collar set from St. Argo that she's matching with today. So I'm going to put her back down. I just wanted to show you why we're not matching specifically because any of you who have been here for a while know that that's a thing for me so i'm bringing her regular walking set which is a harness leash and collar from saint argo i have an extra uh collar i always bring an extra set either whether it's just for her or for another dog that might be loose, it's always good to have an extra set of gear. So I'm bringing a little water bowl for her. Very, very handy. Um, her extra outfit, so I always bring extra clothes, not because I want to be funny, but Celine has stomach issues. You can see it all over my channel. I have a whole series about her health, but she has stomach issues, and so sometimes she has diarrhea or she vomits while she's out and she messes up her outfit so I wouldn't want to leave her in that even if it's like just her harness or something I would like to have something else to put on her. The set that I'm bringing today this is a little Disney outfit from 21 Bays. They make beautiful clothing so this little set it matches it's a bow and a t-shirt and it matches her wild one walking set really nicely so Here's the t-shirt, the bow, the harness here. The harness, by the way, is in the extra small. I'm so glad they make those now. And then we have the leash, the matching leash, and the poop bag holder. I have her Pauline numéro 1. So I usually put in here her little mini comb a little container of treats and a container of food so there's treats in here and then there's food in here um bocce's bakery makes a ton of treats that she's able to eat so the little ones that i have in the container right now are the training bites the duck and blueberry recipe she does not get a lot of these because i don't want it to hurt her stomach but she can eat them without getting sick so we hang on to those baby wipes because i have definitely needed them before with her out this is the no brushing toothpaste i like to just have it don't necessarily need it for anything but just in case like she gets something in her mouth i can clean it out and then i just have a few toys because i like to bring extra toys for her so she is really tiny so she has really tiny toys and she has soft toys she loves soft things so this is a little bunny that she has broken the squeaker out of this is a little ring piggy clearly she's been chewing on his arms and legs her little lamb he's really soft or she's really soft so she can lay on her and then this is a new chunel ball that she got from a company she works with and then because i'm an all-out lululemon today um i thought i would bring her chululemon little shopping bag toy and she's totally sitting here being the best dog in the entire world right now i'm so grateful um and then when i bring her out with all this stuff i usually have all of my items in like a little pouch like an extra pouch um so for today i'm just bringing this lululemon duo wristlet that you saw in the first part of this video and then my aloe hair clip i prefer the clips over the hair ties but because i already have my hair up um, I'm just bringing the clip on the side and here's the bag. It's still pretty heavy even though I don't have like a laptop or a notebook or anything in. 
Um, so it's still pretty, you know, heavy, but I can always stick this under her stroller and we're good to go. So yeah, that is the fully packed bag. Here it is. If you would like to see like further inside of it, everything's just dumped in there. Like I said, the organizer honestly would get in the way because a lot of these items are a bit oversized, but that is my, what fits in my Louis Vuitton Neverfull Dog Mom edition. And yes, this is very realistic. All of these items I would absolutely take with me for a day out or like a couple, like a weekend kind of quick trip or something for Celine. I would just take more food and puppy pads. But otherwise, yes, this is very realistic for me as her dog mom as she's falling asleep. So that is it for the second part of my Louis Vuitton never full review let me know in the comments what you feel you're never full with or if you think this is insane or again what you use your louis vuitton never full for i would love to know and i'd love to talk about it in the comments thank you all again so much for watching and celine and i will see you in the next video